I've just put in a shrimp net with cheese down there after my recent experiment. I know that cheese will catch shrimp and I have caught shrimp in that spot there in the shade of that big tree before. Should be a good spot to get a few. Alright, first rod baited with cheese going over there. Second rod there. Put the bells a bit lower because of the wind. And there we go. One rod baited with cheese out in that direction. One rod baited with cheese out in that direction. And I've got a shrimp net in over there with cheese in it. Maybe I'll chuck a shrimp on the hook later if I'm not getting bites on the cheese. So I'm going to cover my bases today. I'm a bit spread out. I've got my net in up there with some shrimp. Let's see if I can catch a fish. apologize for the wind noise but there is an upside to it it's meant to be about 38 degrees here today nice and hot this wind is keeping me nice and cool it's drying the sweat as I create it so bonus for me it being a little windy today I do apologize about any wind noise though all right I've been here about half an hour no nibbles, but I'm curious if I've got any shrimp on the cheese here next to the tree. Oh yes. There's quite a few in there. Well, not quite a few, but there's a few. Well, we've got four actually. Not bad. Four shrimp using cheese. It's working again. Lovely. I reckon I'll give it about another half an hour with the cheese as the bait. And if I'm still getting no action on the rods, I'll put a shrimp on at least one of them, if not both of them. But we'll see. Alright, I've decided it's very quiet on the cheese. I'm going to put shrimp on at least this one. Give that a shot. Very deep out there. And by the look of that, there's plenty of shrimp out there. So putting one on the hook in that location should be pretty good. I'll go with a medium sized shrimp I think first. Not too big. I don't want to deter a smaller fish from having a go. Let go. Thank you. There you go. Freshwater shrimp on the hook, ready to go as bait. That shadow is starting to move, so I'll just make sure the net's still in the shade there. Because I feel like shrimp are like fish. They want to stay hidden, they're going to stay in the shadows. Straight out in the middle out there. I'll leave the cheese on that one for another half hour or so there's still no action I'll put a shrimp on that one as well because the benefit of shrimp as I've said before is I can target more species with cheese I'm pretty much only going to get a cod with a shrimp I could get all kinds of different species so I increase my chances of hooking a fish in general if I switch to shrimp well, I've pulled in the rod and there's no cheese left on the hook whether it's come off when I cast it or the shrimp have gnawed at it until there's nothing left I'm not sure but I'm going to rebait this one with cheese again. I might cast it in a slightly different spot though because I notice there's a platform and a few old swing ropes set up there. Which lets me think if they swing out in that direction that there'd be a nice deep hole that they usually land in just over there. So I'm going to put some cheese back on, cast over there and see if I can get a bite that way. I reckon that's a turtle, just the way it's biting.
whatever it is I've got it. Oh, it feels too heavy to be a turtle actually. But it is, it's a bloody big turtle. Oh wow. Um, Alright. Thought he felt too big to be a turtle, but he ended up being just a monster turtle. Alright. It's probably my PB turtle, guys. I called it though, didn't I? The way it was biting. Well, mate, come on. Let me try and get you unhooked without hurting you. Come on. Oh, there we go. Just came off on his own. And he was caught on cheese, that turtle. There you go. You pretty much can't avoid him. Doesn't matter what bait you use. I've caught him on chicken, worms, shrimp, yabbies, cheese. The only thing I probably haven't caught a turtle on is corn. But he was a big boy. There you go, at least I've caught something today. <laughs> Alright, so I was thinking about putting a shrimp on there, but I've decided to stick with cheese. It's the only bite I've had all day. It was only a turtle, but it was still a bite and it gave me something to do. Um, having said that, I hope I don't catch another turtle. Hopefully I want to catch a cod, but I'll stick with cheese on this rod. I'll stick with shrimp on the other one. Just because I'm here, checking rods anyway. Let me check if my shrimp's still on the hook down here. He certainly is. Is he still alive? Doesn't look very alive. They do like to play dead though. Yep, he's alive. Definitely alive. <laughs> he was just playing dead. There we go. Tight line. Owls are on. Let's see if I can catch something else. Hopefully something that's not a turtle. Well, that was a bite. Come on, come back. You know you want that tasty little shrimp. It's been about five minutes since I had that bite on this rod. I've got a feeling he might have taken my shrimp. He sure did. Bugger. Alright, new shrimp time. Oh wow, there's heaps in there now. The old cheese in the shrimp net scores again. Oh, and a heap of little carp as well, I'd say, or are they? Let me have a look. Little minnows, some description. So these little silvery minnows, guys, I'm not sure what they are. They don't look like carp. So I'm going to be safe and put them back, but if you know what they are, let me know in the comments. Get another shrimp on the hook. There we go. Ready to go. So I've gone a slightly bigger shrimp with the hope that whatever took the last one takes a slightly bigger bite and gets the hook as well this time uh, whatever had a bite took the cheese again I would say. Let's find out. Yep. I reckon it 
it's these circle hooks that I'm using. See how the tip is bent over like that? I reckon that's why I'm missing all of these hookups today. Thought I'd give these circle hooks a try. Not impressed. I'm going to go back to my normal hooks next time I come out. I reckon I've had five or six decent bites that just haven't hooked up or haven't hang on hung haven't hung on long enough for me to get to the rod. Let me know what you think of these circle hooks guys and when do they work for you? Alright, so that's all the time I've got for today. Uh, I haven't pa uh, trying to do an outro and the, the rod gets another bite. It's exactly why I was doing the outro before I pulled the rods in. It's that just in case moment. I'm like, ah, oh, I'll record the outro first. Well, it did get another bite. Come on, take the bait, will ya? Just one fish today would be lovely. <laughs> did get a new PB turtle though, so that's a bonus. I might leave it here. Um, if you don't see anything else after this little outro, then that means I've packed up and gone home. And this fish that just bit didn't come back. So I got my new personal best turtle. I had a heap of bites that didn't seem to hook up or didn't stay on the hook long enough for me to get to the rod. Let me know what you think about circle hooks. I had heard that they were good for cod fishing, but I've had all sorts of trouble getting hookups today. Maybe it was just the day, maybe they weren't committing to the bite, uh, or maybe circle hooks are just rubbish for native fishing in Australia. I'm not sure. Let me know what your thoughts are. They're the first time I've ever really used them. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. And I'll catch you all in the next one. <laughs>